Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Palmadela 911 Memorial Tournament. We uh, it spans over three weeks. It ends today on Championship Saturday, which is championship games going being played throughout the town of Farmadale. What's really this is about is raising money. There's Tuesday's Children's Organization, the kids who lost their parents through the 9/11 event. It also has to do with Sean Collier, who was murdered during the recent attacks in Boston through the Boston Marathon raising money through that police department, through that memorial fund, and also through a, a family right here in Farmingdale. Over the last three weeks, we've seen some really close games, competitive ball playing. It's, it's, it goes out to all the coaches that are teaching these kids and volunteering their time and trying to get them to learn the game of baseball. Let's go, we battle. let's fight, let's go, let's, let's, fight. let's, fight. let's, fight. let's, let's go. go, let's fight on three, Aiden. One, two, three, ah! We put this team together probably about five weeks ago. These kids are eight years old. They're from Ozan Howard, playing on all different sorts of teams. They, uh, they have heart. Just to know what we're playing for, why we're playing it, why the tournament's here, you know, why Farmingdale's representing a tournament like this, and what it means to the, to, to the U.S. and what happened to us on 9-11. Can we do it? Yeah. Let's go! Woo! These are kids that have grown up together since they were little kids. A lot of them I've coached in different sports since they're four years old. They are a true team. There's a bigger reason, of course. 9-11, um, one of our coaches, Andy Ayadivio, is actually a first responder, so it was very symbolic for the team to come into this tournament. I thought it would be a good experience for the boys, uh, good sportsmanship, and I'm just really proud of the way they represented us. They have not lost. There you go. <laughs> Together. I would not trade my guys for anybody. We all leave our houses every day, parents. Kids thank your parents. You leave your house, you go to work. Expecting to come home every day. These uh Sean Colley, a police officer, was doing his job in Boston back in April and, and, and was uh murdered by terrorism against his country. Farming there right now is the best of America. You have baseball, which is an national pastime, but you also have honoring the uh, men and women of law enforcement who do so much to protect us day in and day out. We are under a real threat from terrorism, and when we're enjoying games like hey, this, Bradley. you have uh, police officers out, out in the street literally putting their lives on the line, as we saw in Boston. So today, the MIT police have lost someone in Boston. Uh, you have you know, an Esso police who day in and day out are doing a great job. You know, yesterday, the way that we, when we were received here, uh, you know, by the people in Farmingdale, by Jim DeSanti and the people within this community. It was truly overwhelming and uh, it didn't really hit me about, uh, about how much this meant to me until I was surprised with that check out in the field uh, for $5,000 to the Sean Collier Memorial Fund. It, it was very touching and it's, uh, it was very emotional. Uh, those funds are being raised to remember Sean in a vast number of ways. Uh, there's going to be an MIT uh, scholarship, there's going to be a medal uh, in his honor named after him. Uh, at, the, at the scene of his death, we're calling it Collier Court now, we're going to have a, a living memorial of Sean there. Uh, something that will always be there in Sean's memory that people can visit as they are from all over the world right now. Uh, when they come to Boston, the, uh, the Boston Duck Boat Tours are now stopping at, uh, and acknowledging Sean's, uh, the scene of Sean's death in Cambridge. And uh, one more reminder of the significant impact that uh, you know, Sean's death had on the nation. A police officer, no matter where you're from, whether you're from Nassau County, whether you're from Boston, whether you're from California or overseas, or no matter where you are, we all have a bond together. It could have been any one of us in that car that night, taking the same actions he did for all the right reason. We gotta remember Sean forever. We can never let his memory die. The real significance of today, uh, on top of all of the remembrance, is that our young people are participating. This will help improve their understanding of this nation and this world so that we secure our future and so that the work of our forefathers wasn't in vain.